Brian. Ahora, ahora. Hi Michelle, grabe. Grabe, grabe. Talaga ba to? Talaga. Nagising lang ako one day, tapos biglang humaba yung hair ko. Hindi ko alam kung nakita nyo na nagpa-pixie ko to. Tapos kinabukasan na haba na ng hair ko. Mas bagay sa'yo yung... It's the magic of the universe, yun lang yun. Yeah. Alam mo, bet namin yung long hair sa'yo. Mas bagay talaga sa'yo yung long hair. Kasi last year, you were so edgy with your look. But this time, talagang you scream Miss Universe. You know, I always try to give everyone something new and try to showcase a different side of my personality. So I was able to be more edgy last year. Pero ngayon, wag ni isara yung vision of me because I'm really changing the game this year in terms of my look. So apart from your looks, what makes you different this time around? Well, of course, one is experience. Two is my mindset. And really, last year. After the coronation, there were so many things that happened in my life that really put me in a tough spot. It put me in adverse, you know, just moments of my life where I had to put myself into perspective. So I am here stronger than ever and hopefully I can perform at my optimal. At what point did you realize you want to join the competition again? So, you know, Chelas and I are very good friends and when we were the last two standing, we really whispered to each other that whoever wins, we know deserves it. So, I love Celeste. But, you know, when you're put in a position to assess yourself and your performance, I'm the type that really loves not having regrets. And since I realized that I have a chance pa ako this year, then why not? Instead of living a life of those what-ifs. So, uh, did you ask tips from her advice? Because she just been through her Miss Universe journey. Chalessa and I have a very open conversation, Aman. So I have been with her throughout her pageant journey. I know what happens ins and outs. So I we constantly try to learn from each other. So a lot of my followers are asking since yeah they saw your footage coming here. So ano yun? Um, did you? <laughs> like, did you did you resign your position in order for you to join? So how was the mechanics like in order for you to be able to come here? Um, because I did consult with the org first before making the decision, and they said that as soon as I apply, then it's an automatic resignment. Oh, alam mo ngayon, Miss Universe is really looking for that transformational woman who can really change her community. I feel like you really perfectly fit the bill with with all the advocacies that you've been doing. Do you feel you're coming in such a perfect time? You know, I'm so happy with the shift of the organization because when you have a platform this big and you can advocate for different things and really do some good, then I think it's really a step towards the right direction where you're not just looking at the physical beauty, but you're actually looking at what the woman is capable of doing with a platform this big. Okay, yeah, for me, I'm all for it. Talaga. So, would your advocacy still be all about uh, autism, just like before? So, my main advocacy really is autism awareness because of my two autistic siblings. Okay, yeah, that's always going to be a part of me. But of course, women empowerment and mental health are things that I also advocate for. Okay, yeah, ayun. It's really just about spreading positive energy and really trying to set a good example for everybody that looks up to me. So, that's my last question. What makes you that phenomenal transformational Filipina they're looking for in a winner right now? You know, a transformational leader isn't born in a month, in a day. It's really the accumulation of her life decisions and everything that has built her into the woman that's standing in front of you. So, I really believe that when you actually get to know my story from when I was a little girl up until now, then you really see that those experiences make me a potential transformational leader in my own right of course oo no natanda ko pa yung interview ko sa iyo meron ka na ring sarili mo hindi mo lang hina-hype yung CEO ka ng ano mo bitcoin company oo di ba parang lady boss nga yun ang hinahanap nila ngayon well we'll we'll see we'll see what happens of course yes just one last question just one last thing 
message for your supporters. Syempre, isa na naman. Yes, yes, yes. Patapos yes. ang laban. Apo. So, we want you to rally your support. You know, I really credit where I am because of my supporters because they gave me that first push to see my potential when I joined Miss World pa back then. So I am here because of them because they believed in me when I couldn't believe in myself. So whatever my success is, it's for all of them. You can address them. So, mga defenders ko, MMD verse most especially, and everybody that's been rallying behind me, supporting me through the years, I just wanted to say thank you. I love you. You will always be heard and you're always part of my journey. Kaya thank you, Deepa Tapos. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> On that note, thank you so much, Michelle. God, God bless you. Thank you. See you guys soon. Yeah. Saturday. Bye. Ready, ready na sa El Salvador, eh, oh. <laughs> El Salvador. Rian, can I ambush interview you long? <laughs> Mabilis lang. You really, you are really close with Michelle Dino. This is such a huge milestone for her, and you, for you to be able to be to be beside her in doing this. Talang that's how close you guys are, talaga. Absolutely. Uh, I would not miss any of these occasions for the world, and I know that if I ever needed Michelle's support, and many times I have, she's mm -hmm. always, always there for me. And I think it's so like we have a beautiful friendship, and I'm very lucky to to have my friend. <laughs> And the best that I can do is just repay that kind of love and support with my own. Oh, thank you. She's Not that lucky she needs to have it. you. Not that she needs friend. it. I know she can totally do it all alone. But you know, still, I just want to be there and you know, cheer her on. So, you're the one who's going to be there for the yes. next two months. Basically, she's the one who's going to be there for the next two months. So, she's really lucky to have you. Or, Vice versa. Yeah, we. Yeah, no. I know. I'm super lucky to have her, and you know. I mean, it's hard to find uh, true friends in showbiz, lalo na sa industry ninyo. It's true. If, I mean, I've been in showbiz 17 years. Uh, I met Michelle two years ago, and like, and Max, and and my friend Janina, and my life has changed ever since. So sa kada event ng MUP, like na yung makikita, nagchichir, may placard, Go! As long as wala Go, akong taping. As, as long as wala siyang taping and as long as ako yung nasa stage. <laughs> Tapos you guys work out together pa, di ba? Yes, absolutely. So, and I know she's going to be working very, very hard very soon. And I'm gonna try to learn as much as I can also, even from her training. Legit. Because if I can like pose and walk and and speak like Michelle, what a what a goal. Wow. Oh, di ba? For real. And that's her. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Oh, sige, sige. Happy Valentine's Day, girls. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Bye, girls. <laughs>